What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are going to look at how to find the area of compound shapes. So let's go. So first of all, what is the area? Well, area is the measurement of the inside of a shape. So if we were looking at these shapes here, the area would be the measurement of all this green stuff. And what's a compound shape? Well, a compound shape is shapes that are put together forming an irregular shape. So we can see here, we had an original rectangle, let's call that A, and next to it we had another rectangle, let's call that B, and together they create a compound shape. So when we're measuring the area of a compound shape, we need to follow these steps. And the first step is to split into the individual shapes that it started with, then we're gonna work out the area of each shape, and then we're gonna add that together to get the area of the total of our compound shape. So if you're gonna master this video, you need to know how to actually find the area of a shape. So let's start with step one, which was to split these into individual shapes. So I can see that I have two rectangles, as we said, and I could either cut it just here and call this A and this B, or what I could do is I could split it along here and call this one A and this one B. It doesn't matter, we're gonna get the same at the end when we add it together. So let's leave it like this and then we're gonna work out the area of each of the individual shapes. So let's do A first of all. So I'm gonna measure the area of shape A. Now when we're measuring area, we need to understand the formula, which is that we measure the base, which is the length at the bottom, times the height, which is the length of the side. So we have area equals base times height. So in this case, if we look at this measurement across the base, how do we find out its measurement? Well, let's look opposite, and we can see that we have eight centimeters. So we have area equals eight times, and what's its height? We can see we have the height over here of two centimeters. So the area of shape A is eight times two, which is 16. But 16 what? 16 turkeys, 16 cars, no, 16 centimeters. And what we need to understand that we've done is we've effectively cut this shape into two rows because we have two centimeters and eight columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And what we've done to measure it is we've just counted how many of these square centimeters we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have my 16. We had centimeters, and then we are calling them centimeters squared. So this part here, this centimeter squared, is the unit that we use when measuring area if we're in centimeters. It could obviously be meter squared, kilometer squared, mile squared, anything. But it's squares. So this is our shape A. 16 centimeters squared. Now let's do the same for shape B. Shape B is area equals base times height, and the base is five centimeters, so we have five times the height, which is this length here, which is also five centimeters. So my area equals 25 centimeters squared but I'm not yet finished because my final step said to add them together to get the total of my compound shape. So I'm gonna get my 16 centimeters and add it to my 25 centimeters. And I'm gonna do that in column method. So 16 plus 25 equals ones. Six plus five is 11. And then in my tens, one plus one is two, plus the two is four. So I have 41 centimeters squares. Easy. Let's turn it up by looking at a red chili challenge. This time we can see that our compound shape is this rectangle that's been compounded with a triangle. So how are we gonna measure this? Well, let's start with our rectangle and realize that these are the measurements for our rectangle. We have a base of nine centimeters and a height of 10. So my shape A, equals 10 times 9, which is 90 centimeters squared. 
not too difficult so far. But now I'm going to look at shape B. And I need to understand how to find the area of a triangle. Well, what we need to realize is a triangle is exactly half of the rectangle that it sits in. Imagine if I built a rectangle around it, like this. Shape B is half of this whole big rectangle. So if I find the area of this rectangle and then halve it, I will get the measurement of shape B. So let's do that by thinking about the base, which would be this length here, and the height, which would be this length just here. So my height is easy because I can just look over here and see it's 10 centimeters. But the base is pretty challenging because we've been given this entire section of 17 centimeters, but we only want this little section just here. So we need to work out what this area, this green area is, and deduct it, subtract it from my 17. So fortunately, I can look up my green length and see that the length of that green section is nine centimeters. So this section is nine centimeters. So therefore, the remaining part must be 17, subtract my nine. That will give me this missing measurement. And 17 subtract 9 leaves me with 8 centimeters. So this length, my base is 8 and my height is 10. Whew. So shape B is going to be 8 times 10, which is 80 centimeters. But don't forget that 80 centimeters is the area of all of this rectangle. Well, we don't need all of it, we only want half of it. So I'm going to get my 80 and I'm going to divide it by 2, which gives me 40 centimeters squared. So the area of shape A was 90 centimeters squared and the area of shape B was 40 centimeters squared. So all I'm going to do is add those two together to get a total of 130 centimeters squared. Whoa, what a red chili challenge. If you understood that, awesome. If you didn't, go and find the video on my channel about finding areas of rectangles to really give you a good understanding of that because we've glossed over it a bit quickly today, but hopefully you have understood it and carried on with us. So now it's your turn. I want you to find the area of this compound shape. And I'll warn you, I've given this a three red star chili. This is super difficult. We have missing lengths, we have compound shapes, we have all sorts going on. So if you get this right, you are a bit of a maths genius. Take your time, practice, and then put your answers in the comment section. Press pause, good luck. And there you have it. That is how to find the area of compound shapes, including a triangle. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're gonna find loads more videos covering everything you need to know about maths. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video, so peace out.